Welcome in, dogs. Welcome in. We've got an old stone boat, which is basically a steel sled that you put giant rocks on and you drag them off the field. We got a neighbor that wants to borrow it, so I'm gonna see if the skid steer will lift it up. I don't think we've used it in a few years, so it just sits behind the bins. <laughs> As you can see, it's a very fancy piece of machinery. Giant steel slab with a chain on it. I'm not sure what to charge him for the hours on this machine, what the going rate typically is, I don't know. I suppose if he waxes it, we'll just call it even. There goes our stone boat, Anna. Sure hope he takes good care of it. Thanks for finding my coat for me, Rhiannon. We got a couple bins back here that I was able to empty now, so they are ready to put corn in. We've got a little bit of corn down in the bottom of this bin. We got corn in this bin, we got corn in the bin back here, we got corn in the big bin back here, and corn in this one here. So we're holding over quite a bit of corn from last year, basically, because the market doesn't want to pay us too much for it, so we're not going to carry over any beans. We're getting rid of all those, those are going to town. The price on those isn't too bad, but we are carrying over a lot of corn. I'm hoping we don't have enough room to fit all the corn this year, because that means we had a better yield, but I'm thinking we probably will have enough room. So we've got to flip some valves and some wheels and change the spouting so that we're not loading into the truck over here, but we want to transfer into these bins back here that I emptied. Okay, that one's locked in. And the last thing is to make sure that that top cross auger is dumping into the correct bin. I want to go into that one there. And it is set. So, I know because I was in here just a couple days ago that we're good to go in here. Sweep is in the right spot. The slides move nice and free. So we don't need any work down there, but I was going to grease this. Why are you leaving me? Ah. Too cold out? Yeah. All right. See you later. Morning. How are you doing? Good. It's cold. I think it is cold, but it'll warm up. At least it's sunny. Yeah. I think I got all the valves moved and everything where it needs to go. I'm just going to throw some grease on the sweep before we put corn in there. We now have corn transferring from the center of this bin up through here into the grain leg and then down into this pipe here where it hits this cross auger that goes across the top and then it's making its way back to the third bin back here where it's being placed in a temporary home. I think it looks good. I don't know, it, it sounds fast enough, doesn't it? Yeah, that auger sounds smooth, but I think that's good. Yep. 10, 15, 20 minutes, then get in, check the corn, make sure it's in good shape and not hot or anything. Okay. I don't know what it is, but it's almost on fire. Okay, so we smelled this from over yonder. I don't know if this means we got a bearing out. Uh, yeah, we're melting the seal. I wonder if the bearing isn't out on the end of the auger here. It's melted the seal was smoking pretty good, it's tight. And I don't see metal coming out, but. It didn't smell like the belt, so that's what it is. It, it wasn't the belts for sure, it was it was coming from here. I suppose if we, it should come out with that collar and those three bolts? It should, those three bolts and then uh, black and collar and you need some memory cloth. We may have to take this plate off. Shouldn't have to. We shouldn't, because then the flighting's gonna wanna move. Yeah. I can buzz that off. In the meantime, should we transfer from another bin? I think so. Just keep transferring because we got this one going. All we got to do is fix the bearing and it'll come out of here fine. Right. So the first thing I'm going to do is check the condition of the corn that was going in there to make sure it's good. Then the second thing I'm going to do is order a slide and a gate for this door that we cut a hole in and then stole for the other bin. Get a new one coming so we can install that. We got a mess around here. Harvest snuck up on us a week sooner than we thought it was going to. We got a pretty solid pile in here. Oh yeah, that feels nice. That's what she said. That all feels like good corn in there. Probably 300 bushels in there. In the meantime, we'll pull out of a different bin while we fix everything else. Oh, millennial farmer, your farm is always so clean. Yeah. Coming in there fine? Yep. Get out of here, where'd it go? Squirrel just ran in here. Come here, Ditch. Come here. 
You smell that, Anna? There's a squirrel somewhere. A squirrel just ran in the shop. But I don't know where it went. Anna won't care, but Didge will find it. Didge, come here. You can't find it? Go find it. You wondering what I'm all excited about, huh? Oh, 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 oh. You see it, Onyx? Oh, <laughs> she found it now. <laughs> 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 oh boy, oh boy, this is fun. Good times. Whee! <laughs> Anna, hey! Here, if we crack that door open. There it goes. <laughs> it's out. Oh, oh. No, not this way! Oh, oh intercepted. Squirrel? Are you okay? Hi, April. I need to speak to somebody about ordering a slide gate. Slide gate for the door is ordered. Now I'm gonna go check, see how this corn is doing. And I got a fuse I gotta pull out. I'm trying to get a bin fan moving. I see it's still a mess back here. And there's still corn moving through. That's good. And I can't see in there, but it's obviously still going into this bin. Also good. Now in order to keep the grain cool I need to make sure the bin fans are going which this one is this one is not and it doesn't want to wake up I'm gonna try fuses hopefully a couple of these does the trick dad took off on me he's a little busy this afternoon if you guys remember back a few videos ago where he tweaked his knee he ended up breaking two or three stitches on the back side of his new aftermarket knee sounds like it's not that uncommon it happens um, he wasn't doing anything stupid. He was getting in and out of a tractor during harvest, but um, Anyway, they got to cut that open fix those two or three stitches back there He'll be good as new in a couple days again. Hopefully mm. I guess I'm gonna need some of these little guys. I'm gonna need a bearing too, so Have to make parts run I got the inner bearing to move about an inch. Now I feel like I'm wasting time, so I'm gonna go grab what I need. We can torch the rest off later, whatever we gotta do. But I better shut the transfer down here so we don't have problems while I'm gone. What are you up to? Oh, okay. You drive out there. I'll drive by and see it, but I'm headed to Hoffman. Okay. Oh, yeah. He's pretty excited about this badger hole he found. <laughs> I don't think he got COVID now. All right, number one. Look at that. I dropped one already. These little guys right here. I'm going to get these in, hopefully get that fan going, maybe transfer some corn while I go check the fields. That bearing can wait. We can finish doing that at another time. We gotta get the combine moving if things will move. Well, she fired, made some horrible noises, then shut herself down again. Which means for some reason, she's blowing a fuse. The motor inside there could be bad. Shucks. I'll give a call to the electrician. It isn't one thing, it's another, you know? But I gotta go check the beans. I did see one neighbor moving on the way over here, which means they're dry enough for him. So they're probably dry enough for us. Ground's a little wet yet. Might, get, might be a little tough getting the head to work right. Let's go run a test with the big green robot. So far, 13.9 moisture, and that's been pretty accurate this year. Everything's looking pretty decent. Sounds good coming in the tank. So 
far they're averaging 14.3 one trip across the field. We want them around 13. They're a little wet, but the dockage, the discount at the elevator at 14 is usually better than getting out here by the time they're 9 or 10. We lose more by allowing that extra moisture out and getting some shattering at the head than we do taking this dockage. I think we'll see if Jim can come out and then he can make the first round with you and then he can drive truck while you run the grain cart. You want to do that? All right, I'll let you know if I think they're dry enough and I'll let you know we'll come get you or whatever we got to do. Jim, do you want to run to the farm and grab a truck? 14.0 is our average for this tank. I'm going to dump it. We're going to go get some trucks, grab Jim and Onyx. By the time we get out here and get moving, they'll be down to 13 and a half. And by the time we get a truck full, they'll be down to 13. It'll be perfect. Just perfect. Everything is going to be so great. I'm actually very good at harvesting soybeans. Believe me, you'd be surprised. I think we'll grab two trucks. You can take one up and I'll bring Onyx up in the other one. Yeah, they're running about 14 now. I figure by the time we get moving and have a truck, they'll probably be down to 13. Yep. Onyx! Look at those passing showers in the distance. Let's hope those stay away. Come on kid, we don't have all day. Check the dipstick. Yep, he's good. Check the oil. Good. See what I did there? Nope. I'm gonna go hop in the combine because that's empty. Jim will be here in a few minutes and then he'll hop in with you for one round until the truck is full, okay? Have fun, keep it under 100. Five to six, I'm gonna break through the middle here and get us a new spot to dump on the way back. So you can you can follow me about halfway down the field and then wait for me to go by again before you turn around. Yeah, sure. Five to six, when we go through this low spot here, you can wait till I pass you. Then you can turn around on the two rows behind us and you can come pick me up. We'll go 4.0 to start. There he comes. And conveniently here I can see exactly how much he's got in the cart so I'm gonna try and keep it so that I've got it under a truckload that way he doesn't have a chance in overfilling a truck because that's the only part I'm concerned about right now at the moment with him all right six you got about 53,000 you can go fill a truck with it that sure is a proud moment there watching my boy pretty awesome Heck yeah, there he goes. Now I can watch him empty too. Look at that. Go ahead, Six. What do you want to do next time? You can pick me up in the same exact spot. Then sure, I'll drive there right now. Oh, hey, look it. Now that we've been out here for a half an hour, we're getting rain on the window again. It's a mixture between rain and sunshine every few minutes. But there goes Onyx, by himself. Jim jumped out, took a truck to town. There he goes. Got all the wipers flailing. He wants to make dang sure he can see what's going on. That's good. Five to six. That's a load, you can go fill a truck. I'm honestly not that worried. He seems to have it handled pretty well. It's pretty amazing how quickly these kids can catch on to stuff like that. Pretty awesome. Now if we could just get him to pick up his socks. Maybe if we make fun of him for it in a YouTube video. Yeah, so they got you casted up. Uh, that'll, that'll slow you down. Well, the kid got himself unloaded just fine and into the truck, no problems. Everything's looking good here. But unfortunately, I did find out that uh, they cut dad's knee open and it sounds like, get my phone open here so I can, here we go. Sounds like his knee was, a little bit worse than what they thought so they've got him braced up now he's gonna have to wear a leg brace for five days where he can't bend the knee at all so that's gonna slow him down for a few days here unfortunately the thing we got onyx i might need something to eat again because i didn't realize there wasn't that much in there those two 
he brought two little travel packs of Cheez-Its for the day. He didn't realize how few of Cheez-Its were in there, so he might need his mom to bring him more Cheez-Its. <laughs> it happens, it happens. Well, that's gonna do it for this quarter of soybeans. Ended up with a 65 average. That's a little bit better than that first field we took off last week that ended up at like 36, 37. It's crazy, just that five miles of difference and the sandier ground just absolutely killed those soybeans. This field over here is usually not quite as good as this one, so we'll see what we've got over there, but hopefully our soybeans here closer to home are a lot better than the way that first field was. Six, I'm gonna jump across the road here. You let me know when that's empty and I'll help you out. Luckily for this next field, I only have about 60 feet to travel. I haven't showed Onyx how to fold the auger up on this thing yet. So, just be a little careful the approach on the other side into the other field's a little bit narrow. Good job, dude. Now, show me how to fold it down. All right, you spin towards the combine. How you liking it so far? I like it. Doing pretty good. It gets boring sometimes while you're waiting for him to come. It does. All right, we're going to leave the auger folded up because we got some trees coming up, okay? Yeah. I'll let you know when you're good to unfold it. Okay. okay. These shorter beans around these end rows where it was just too wet in the spring, the beans got a slow start. That's where this Crary wind system really helps what that tube does there's there's air that blows through here comes out of the fan over here and goes up front and blows down through the yellow tubes pushes air onto the cutter bar onto the sickle sections down here and forces those beans in so they don't fall forward creates a lot less shatter i don't have to use the reel as much it works pretty nice between that and the draper belts down here without running an auger it's a pretty pretty nice setup we just put that wind system on last year, and I talked about it quite a bit in last year's videos, but honestly, I don't think we'll ever run without one again. There's just so many situations where it comes in handy. You know, when the beans are all perfect and they're tall and they're feeding in well, probably isn't entirely necessary, but there's so many situations where it does help. I mean, we feel that it was definitely worth it. Check out these beans here, where it was next to the woods, where the trees stole the nutrients from it. We're still feeding them right in there. You can see them being pushed in. Five to six, I'll meet you back here in one round and uh, we can dump headed towards the highway. Seven, why don't you just come straight up the highway? You can come over to John's approach here and then we'll go grab the other truck because we'll have enough to fill that pretty soon. Onyx decided he'd have had enough Cheez-Its and he ran out of those so he needed a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Luckily, we're close to home so mom made a couple PB&Js and uh, she's gonna deliver them. It's a good thing you showed up when you did. He's been asking a lot. Cheez-Its and PB&Js, yep. Very important. Right in that big machine. He's so big! <laughs> he loves when you talk to him like that. Oh my gosh, let me pinch him. <laughs> Thanks, Mrs. Millennial Farmer. And as long as I'm out here, I'm gonna check the job the machine is doing. It's coming in the tank pretty cleanly, so we'll make sure the ground is also clean. We're all good. Sandwich time. My peanut butter and jelly sandwich has two top buns. No wonder it tastes so odd. There's no bottom bun. There we go, lights on. A little dusty out there. And I just put it in the semi, where you want me to go? You can wait on the ends down there, and I'll make a couple of rounds, and then we can dump coming this way, because I'm gonna try and get enough to fill that truck up. Well, that's gonna do it for our night. Not a bad day overall. Oh, jumping on stiff legs wasn't smart. What do you think? How did that go? Good. A little stiff-legged? Yeah. Yeah, good. It's good for you. Stretch it out. I'm going to hit the restroom back here behind this new tractor, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs>
Remember, we are giving away $5,000 to local fire departments and first responder crews that need it for grain bin rescue equipment and or training. So if you know an organization locally to you that could use some equipment or training or some money for it, there's a link down below for an email in the description. Uh, shoot us an email and we are going to give that away to multiple different departments, organizations, uh, first responders. Whoever needs it, we want to help out, we want to give back. It's funny how soybean harvest, especially early on and when the weather's good like this, it's just a totally different thing. It's so much more relaxed than, than corn harvest when you get a couple of weeks in and the weather's turned. Or you get like last year where it's mid-November and everything's frozen, nothing's going right. You're dealing with frozen ground and mud and wet corn and the dryer's running all night. Just the difference in that, it's like two completely different worlds.